In the quaint village of Noddle on the Wink, something peculiar was afoot. The local bakery, known for its world-famous donuts, was facing a crisis of the most hilarious proportions. Every morning, as the rooster crowed, the baker, a rotund fellow named Bertie, would find his freshly baked donuts mysteriously halved in number. The village was abuzz with theories ranging from ghostly apparitions with a sweet tooth to a covert operation by rival village Giggleford. Enter our unlikely heroes, Inspector Clueless and Sergeant Bumble. Clueless, with a moustache that looked like it had been drawn on by a child, and Bumble, who tripped over his own feet, were the village's finest and only detectives. Their investigation methods were unconventional, to say the least. Scene one, the bakery. Clueless, with the air of a man who might find his own feet suspicious, interrogated a jelly donut. Now don't be jelly, just spill the beans, he demanded, as Bertie looked on in bewildered amusement. Meanwhile, Bumble was conducting a stakeout under a table, armed with nothing but a magnifying glass and a large custard tart for sustenance. He whispered into his walkie-talkie. No movement yet, sir. Over. He was, however, talking to a pastry. The plot thickened like a good custard when Mrs. Peabody, the village gossip, claimed to have seen a shadowy figure near the bakery. Clueless and Bumble set up a trap involving a life-size donut costume, worn by Bumble, and a net. The plan was simple. Bumble would lure the thief in with his irresistible donut charm, and Clueless would spring the net. The night was still. Crickets chirped. Bumble, in his donut suit, stood awkwardly in the moonlight. Hours passed. Then a rustling in the bushes. A figure approached. Bumble tried to look as donutty as possible. The figure stepped into the light. It was Miss Higginbottom, the librarian, walking her cat, Mr. Whiskers. Just as they were about to give up, a tiny head popped out of the bakery's back door. It was Timmy, Bertie's mischievous nephew. The mystery unraveled faster than a ball of yarn in a kitten convention. Timmy had been sneaking the donuts to his secret club, the Noddle Nibblers, a group of kids who had vowed to taste every donut in the world. Clueless and Bumble, in their typical bumbling fashion, managed to get tangled in their own net. As they flailed about, Timmy and the Nibblers helped them out and offered them each a donut as a peace offering. In the end, Bertie decided to officially supply donuts for the Noddle Nibblers meetings, dubbing them the bakery's official taste testers. And so the case of the disappearing donuts was closed, not with a bang, but with a giggle and a shared love for the sweet circular delights. Clueless and Bumble, now honorary members of the Nibble Nibblers, were last seen riding off into the sunset, donuts in hand, ready for their next comedic adventure.